Hello students, my name is Abdullapur Ramreddy. I have been associated with Ask IITians from past 4 years. I am graduated from IIT Patna. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about some basic concepts of chemistry. In this thing, we will we'll discuss about some very basic concepts which you have to understand to understand the rest of the chemistry easily. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss about what is matter and the chemical classification of matter and the various laws of chemical combination, mole concept and after finally I will discuss about the methods of expressing the concentration of solution. Okay, So let's start with the presentation, hope you will enjoy with this. Hello students, in this lecture we are going to discuss about some basic concepts of chemistry. What are the basic concepts that you need to know in order to understand the chemistry well? So I can say it is the ABCD of the chemistry. So when you learn English, English language, first you learn about alphabets, A, B, C, D, T, Z, right? So this is what I can say, uh, the alphabets, the ABCD of chemistry, that, that is the, the most basic concepts that we have to know in order to understand the rest of chemistry. So if you understand these basic concepts really well, so it makes the rest of chemistry very easier for you, okay? So let's discuss what are those basic concepts Yeah, the topics covered in this session, in this lecture is, first I will give introduction about chemistry, what is chemistry and what is its importance and what we learn in chemistry. And next is standards and units, and after that I will be discussing system of units, which will be followed by matter and after that I will explain the loss of chemical combination and after that I will explain the very very important thing that is about mole concept. Uh, which, which will be followed by empirical and molecular formulas and finally we will discuss about the different ways of expressing the concentration of solution. Okay? So these are all the topics that we are going to cover in this session. So first I will start with the introduction. Introduction about chemistry. So what is chemistry? Basically what is chemistry? I can say Chemistry is a branch of science that deals with atoms and molecules. It is a branch of science that deals with atoms and molecules. So uh, the air, we are surrounded by air. Okay? So the air contains different gases and these gases are they are made up of atoms. right? Atoms, the, uh, the gases it contains, the air contains molecules, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, okay, which are these molecules are made up of atoms. Similarly, we have many other things in, in the nature that are made up of atoms and molecules. Okay? So atoms, I can say it is the basic building blocks of any chemical substance, any substance, atom. Okay? The atoms, they combine and they form molecules. So the chemistry, in the chemistry we are going to discuss about these atoms and molecules and their properties. Okay? So chemistry, the chemistry is about studying three things. One is properties, properties, right? We have different, we have many substances around us. So in chemistry, we study about the properties of the chemical substances. The properties, they may be physical properties, they may be chemical properties. So physical properties include melting point, boiling point, right? And solubility, density, all these are physical properties. And uh, we will also learn about the chemical properties that are their reactivity and all that. So the chemistry, the chemistry we study about the properties of the chemical substances and uh, the next thing is their structure, structure, okay. So if you know that, that most of the properties, the properties of a chemical substance uh, they basically depend upon the arrangement of atoms, arrangement of atoms, right. So that is structure. We learn about structure, right? If you understand the structure properly, then we can able to uh, deduce many properties, many physical and chemical properties. So the structure, what they are all made up of and what kind of interactions are there between the, between the molecules in a solid, liquid and gas, okay? So it is about the structure, the structure of the substances and we will also learn about the composition, right? The composition. So if I take a particular compound like what atoms it contains, what atoms it contains and what are the, the relative amounts 
in which the atoms are present. Okay? So, like if, if you take for example water, it contains hydrogen and oxygen in a fixed ratio. Okay? That is about the composition of water. Similarly, um, in chemistry, we learn about the composition of many other chemical substances also. So, basically, the study in, in chemistry, we study about these three things. One is properties, other is structure, another is composition. So, that is P as C. P as C. Properties, structure and composition. Okay? So, the chemistry is the study of the, the properties and the structure and the composition of the chemical substances. Okay? So, this is, this is chemistry. And the chemistry of many branches and one is physical chemistry, one is other is organic chemistry. The organic chemistry is all about the chemistry of carbon, carbon containing compounds. We have inorganic chemistry, we have analytical chemistry, we have industrial chemistry, biochemistry, nuclear chemistry and agricultural chemistry and geochemistry. So these are all the, you can say the nine different branches of chemistry we have and uh, in JE we have only three branches of chemistry um, that is physical, organic and inorganic chemistry. Okay? Let us see what are the uses of chemistry. What role that chemistry plays in our life? Okay? So, imagine the life without medicines. The life without medicines. So, if you got a stomach ache, headache, a fever, like if you do not have the medicines are not available to you, then you will suffer a lot, right? So, the chemistry plays a major role in the medicine industry. They are all uh, medicines, pharmaceuticals, all these are made up of, made up of compounds, chemical, right? They are all made up of chemicals. So, medicines are made up of chemicals and fertilizers, right? The agricultural industry, if you see, it, it has fertilizers. They use the different, they use urea, phosphate, okay, for improving the production of a crop. So, uh, this urea and even phosphate, these are chemical substances. Similarly, uh, to remove any pest, to destroy any pest, we use different types of pesticides in agricultural industry, right? So, these pesticides are also essentially made up of this chemical compounds only, chemical substances only. So, in medicines, in agriculture industry and even in industry and polymers. What are polymers? Polymers, plastics, right? The water bottles and other plastic things, all these are made up of chemicals only. So, chemistry is everywhere in nature, everywhere in nature, even the soaps, the soaps we use and the detergents we use for clothes, clothing and even in case of the cosmetics, cosmetics also, they are also made up of chemicals, chemical substances and even the waterproof and fireproof cloths are also, clothes are also made up of, made up of chemicals. So, you can see in this picture the tablets are made up of chemicals and even yeah, the rocket, the used fuel that is chemical. Uh, yeah, the waterproof and fireproof cloths are made up of chemicals. Even the water, bo water bottles, the plastics, polymers are also made up of chemicals only. And these are pesticides like the fertilizers also made up of chemicals. That is industry. In industry we use chemicals and even the soaps and the detergents that are our daily purpose. That serves our daily purpose. All these things are, are made up of chemicals. So, you can see now you understand the importance of chemistry in our life. Okay? So, chemistry is everywhere. The chemistry is everywhere. Whatever the things that we use in our day to day life, starting from the soap to the top to the tablets, medicines, fertilizers, all these are made up of chemicals only. Okay? So, chemistry plays a very, it, it plays a major role in our life. So, students, in this part, we discussed about what is chemistry what are the different branches of chemistry and then we also discussed about what role that chemistry plays in our day to day life also in other industries ok. So, this is the things that we discussed in this part. So, have you, have you wondered can you imagine this world without using the units? So, what are units? What is the importance of units? All these things we will discuss in our next part. So, keep watching.